Motor Speedway point leader Mike Johnson in the 33. So Johnson has got a long way to go to get it qualified at this one. G starter John Holbert. Set to go. Next time by we go racing. Heat number one for the Big A Auto Parts 150. Dave Whitlock in the Ford, Beaver Dragon in the Chevrolet, Jim Preble and Tracy Gordon, John Lazan and Mike Bayetta Jr., Ricky Harrison, Jeff Taylor, Mike Johnson and Larry Gelinas, here we go. Pace car is in, in turn number three, we're set for action. Dave Whitlock, Beaver Dragon, down the line and the green flag is out. Harman Beaver Dragon, dirt tracks it in one and two, 75. Tracy Gordon rim rides the high line to the number two spot. Whitlock on the inside. Jim Preble and Mikey Mann in the three. Side by side, battle for the runner-up slot. Dave Whitlock down low on the 92. Tracy Gordon up high on the 17. Gordon up high with the nose up now. Tracy Gordon around the outside, takes over second on the back shoot. Dave Whitlock back to third in the 92. Fourth is Jim Preble. Jeff Taylor out of the back beginning to roll now. 88, Jeff Taylor out of the back looking for the number four spot. Top five qualified. Taylor up to fourth. Fifth now the 83, Jim Preble. Preble the final qualifier. Coming down, Jelinas trying to re-fire it. Beaver Dragon and Tracy Gordon, Dave Whitlock, Jeff Taylor and Jim Prebley, 83 now the final qualified car. Mikey Mayetta, one spot out of the money in the number three. Jelinas rolling, field stays green. Jeff Taylor looking to the outside of Davey Whitlock for a spot in the semi-feature. Taylor on the outside pulling out. Jeff Taylor making the run on the high line for third. Whitlock holds him off down low. Jim Preble in the 83 now facing the challenge from Ricky Harrison. Harrison on the outside moving up. Two to go this time. Two laps to go for Beaver Dragon. The battle is for fifth place. Jim Preble in the 83. 85, Ricky Harrison. Mikey Mann. Spot. Tracy Gordon to the outside for the lead in four. Great battles all over the speedway now. White flag out, final lap. Tracy Gordon going for the lead on the back shoot. Dragon out, treble in two. Harrison and Preble tangle. Mikey Mayetta through the pack gets the spot. Checkered flag, Beaver Dragon, Tracy Gordon, Dave Wentlock, Jeff Taylor, and Mikey Mayetta gets the number five position. Mike Mayetta Jr. with the break as Jim Preble and Ricky Harrison tangle on the final lap. Mayetta qualifies in fifth. Fourth goes to Jeff Taylor in the 88. Third spot, the 92, Dave Whitlock. Tracy Gordon, a strong run to second. And ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, the Shearer Chevrolet Beaver Dragon in the 75. Bill Zardo and Scott Mulkern, Blair Bissett, Brad Layton, Tommy Rowe, and Chris Rule. Heat starter John Hubert. Clinch green flag in hand. Next time by will go. Go 
veterans to our pace car, set to head in in turn number three. Gary Johnson and Kevin LePage, side by side at one. LePage main event winner already in 1993 on the Good Ranch Tour with a good starting spot here in heat number two. Let's see what he can do with it. He's got it coming in. Johnson on the inside, LePage on the outside. Here they come. Big jump for Kevin LePage on the outside. LePage in the 21 leads him down the back chute. Gary Johnson second up on the high line. Scott Mulkern in the 79 for second. Page and Johnson, Mull Kern and Brad Leighton on the outside. Sardo and Leighton sorting out in fourth and fifth. Let's see if they do that. Let's see if they Kip Stockwell in the 16, trying to catch up to the back bumper of Bill Zardo. Brad Leighton hung out on the outside, the final qualifier right now. Stockwell out of the inside. Brad Leighton up high, about to lose the qualified spot. Stockwell in the 16, moving low. Kip Stockwell, the youngster, down low. Brad Layton with a handful of race cars off the pace and going backwards. Look at he gets tagged. Tommy Rowe around in turn three.
Penske starter John Hulbert says no thank you. We'll bring them down together. Penfold on the inside. Danny Noel on the outside. They'll try it again. Down to the stripe they come. This time they're looking good and they get the grade. Bill Penfold in the zero. Leads him down the back straightaway. Danny Noel in second. Third to Jim McCallum. Bob Billadu on the inside in the seven. Billadu downstairs for the number four spot. Danny Noel pushing high on a four. Jim McCallum in the two. Fills the hole on the inside. Ralph Nason breaking out of the pack in the 10, trying to chase down Sean. Nason flying down the back chute. Racing Ralph Nason on the march. Now two spots out of the qualified spot in the 10. Billy Penfold all alone with the lead. McCallum is second. Danny Noel third. Bob Billy and Pete Rock on the outside. Dale Shaw down low up the spot by a nose in the back straightaway. Dale Shaw looking for the fifth and final qualified spot. Shaw down low. Danny Noel Jr. Bumps his way to the inside of Jim McCallum. Noel in the six going for second now. Bill Penfold, Danny Noel, Jim McCallum, Bob Billadu and Dale Shaw. Ralph Neeson down to the inside. One spot out of the show. Penfold checking out on the field in the zero. Here comes Ralph Nason for fifth now. Nason to the inside of Dale Shaw moving up. Ralph Nason qualified now in the 10 machine. Racing Ralph Nason takes over the fifth and final transfer spot. Mike Whedon in the 35. Look out! Around goes Bob Billadu. Everybody scrambles and gets by. Billadu trying to refire the automobile. Can't do it. We've got a yellow flag. Caution on the speedway. Caution flag out for Bob Billadu in the Locust Farm Chevrolet. Penfold tries the jackrabbit start, and once again, John Hulbert says, no, that's not how we'll do it. They'll give him one more try to get it right. This time they've got a pace up in turn four, and this time they'll get the green. Side. Randall on the outside. Marty 
Bubba Blank and Junior Hanley. Here they come, in turn four, looking for the green. They've got it. Big jump for Mike Mahana. 13 Mahana, your leader. Marty LeBlanc to the inside of Bobby Randall for second. Junior Hanley down on the inside, slots lanes in the 72. Back comes Randall on the outside. Bobby Randall gets it rolling in the 91. Randall top slide for the lead on the back shoot. for our first limited sportsman main of the evening. Once again on the front line is Chris Schedule in the number five and Bob Barash in the 65. The 73 tonight driven by Rick Billadoo. We have the all clear from atop of the flag stand. Look for a start at turn number four. Chris Schedule, Bob Barrage bring the field to turn four, and the green is out. From the outside, in the number 65, Barrage will show the way down into turn number one. Chris Schedule hangs on a position number two. Rick Billadou in the number 73 is third. A side-by-side -side battle for fourth. Don Tapley going to take it on the outside. Steve Perry in fifth in the number 27. Cars three wide out of turn number four is... Young Forrest Boucher gets uh, Carr a little sideways, does a nice job of straightening it back out again, but with it, he loses some track position. Off the pace in the number 89, Terry Libby. 
newcomer to the limited ranks here at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. Leader continues to be Bob Barash in the number 65. Chris Scheduled continues in second. Rick Billadou in third, but coming hard on the outside, Don Tapley Jr. in the number 15, looking to draw it even if he can. Billadou hangs on to position number three. Don Tapley continues his march up the outside, now working to the outside of the 27 of Steve Perry. Four car battle for that third place position now held by the number 73 in Rick Billadou. Bill, Billadou, a longtime competitor here at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway in all the divisions over the years. I'm sure he's enjoying the opportunity to hop back in a limited sportsman and kind of return a bit of history. Rick Billadou, of course, brother of Bob Billadou, that you saw out in the number 17 tonight. Black flag, we believe, is for the number five of Chris Schedule. Comfortable lead for Bob Arash in the number 65. Rick Billadou in the number 73 in second. Paul Holstrom now up to battle Steve Perry for the third place position. Holstrom in the number 58, Steve Perry in the 27. At the halfway point in the gate start of Junior Niles. Well, they tell us the number five got the black flag because he was leaking fluid. Problems now on a car in the three and four turn area. The number 10, Jolly Roussel, with a lot of spark showering from beneath the car. I'm sure the officials will look that over and assess just what the problem is. Steve Perry now on a march up the outside as he works to the outside of the 73 of Rick Billadou. Perry taking the long way around, puts it to the outside of the number 73, trying to take over the runner-up position. Billadou not wanting to easily let go of that second-place position, right back up the inside, hangs on to that second-place position. Steve Perry once again puts the fender ahead down into turn number three. Working to the outside of Rick Billadou's number 73. Side by side battle for a second continues. Continues to beat Rick Billadou by a bumper. Steve Perry not wanting to give it up on the outside. Paul Holstrom sitting there in the fourth place position. Probably trying to decide which way to go, whether to stay down low or take that high groove and follow Perry. Starting indicates it will be just five laps to go next time. Bye. Battle is for the runner-up position. This time, Steve Perry puts the 27 ahead by a fender. But once again, Rick Billadou right up to draw it even down through turns one and two. Almost a three wide as the number 58 of Paul Holstrom took a look to the low side of the number 73, thought better of it, backed out of it just a little bit. Side by side battle continues. Rick Billadou in the 73, Steve Perry in the 27. Continue this side by side duel for the second place position. Time winding down. Starting indicates it will be just two laps to go next time. Bye. 
Bob Barash continues to show the way. Rick Villeneuve now. Paul Holstrom right up to get into that battle for the second place position as he has worked to the low side of the number 27. And now it's a battle for position number three between Paul Holstrom and Steve Perry. White flag is out. Inside row with the advantage as Paul Holstrom in the 58 has taken over the third place position. Don Tapley follows him right up the inside. They have Steve Perry hung on the outside. Check it, flag in the air. Bob Barash will capture the first of two limited sportsman main events over Rick Billadu. Paul Holstrom, Steve Perry, and Don Tapley Jr. The number 75 is driven by Donnie Morse. In the number 50, Alan Burby. The number 28 is driven tonight by Jay Johnson. The number 13 is driven by Ed Gallant. The 34, Ryan Shepard. The number 83, Donnie Whitten. The 19, Jackie Roussel. The number 82, Chuck Willoughby. The number six, Billy Panette. In the number 98, Dave Jackson. The 08 is driven by Alton Reserve. The number 12, Tim Gendron. The 95, Dave Lofarno. And the double zero, Wayne Poland. The 06, Dennis Quinn. The number 55, Todd Fitz. Wayne Witten in the zero. Jeff Morgan in the number 70. The 93, driven by Dave Landless. The 24, Danny Bubar. Dwight Shepard in the 39. Steve Berry in the number seven. They are underway out of turn four. Last two cars, the 88 current point leader, Mike Field, and two-time feature winner over the last two weeks, Dennis Hall in the 94. From the pole, your leader, Tom Huff in the number 81. Huff is followed by Kevin Buck in the number 25. They put a little distance on third place competitor, Jim Shaw in the number 16. Then comes Dennis Featherson in the fourth place position, and Robert Diva Norton rounds out the top five in the number 38. Tom Huff in the number 81 in his rookie year. Working now at his back bumper, a veteran of limited sportsman competition in the number 25, Kevin Buck. They are beginning to put more distance now on the rest of the field. Third place continues to be in the hands of Jim Shaw. Battle now for that fourth place position. Norton in the number 38 works to the inside of the number four and takes over the fourth place position. Dropping Dennis Featherson to fifth. Once again, the high point men start at the rear of the lineup. So the challenge obviously is for those high point men to work their way up to the front. Always a 32-car field in the limited sportsman main event. Problems on the number 56 as Sparks came from beneath the car and he quickly takes it on a pit road. Continues to be a two-car battle at the front. Rookie Tom Huff holding off the hard-charging Kevin Buck in the number 25. Kevin Buck working to the inside of the number 81 now, trying to squeeze beneath the rookie. Looks like he will find room coming in a turn number four. They come out of turn four side by side across the line. New leader Kevin Buck in the 25. Continues to be Jim Shaw in that third place position. Beaver Norton is fourth. The battle is for fifth now. Dennis Featherson on the low side. Donnie Morse to the high side. Problems on the number 38 of Norton as he is off the pace. Takes it way to the outside. 
tough break for the young heart charger in the number 38 as he has mechanical failure and coasts on a pit road. Two car breakaway at the front, but things tighten up from position three right on back. On the move, Donnie Morse in the number 75 as he now works to the outside of the 16 of Jim Shaw. Morse on the move, takes over that third place position, will now look to rein in the number 81 of Tom Huff. Front two cars with, well, a good half straightaway lead over the rest of the pack. Tangle between turns three and four. The 28 tonight in the hands of Jay Johnson and the number three of David Raymond got together. Position number four, held by the 16 and Jim Shaw. He has Dennis Featherson now working to the outside. John Maycomber and Alan Burby on the inside. Ed Galland and Chuck Willoughby going at it. And the high point man still very deep in this field. Very competitive limited sportsman division. We have had a host of different winners in this very competitive field. No driver has accomplished more than two feature wins. flag will fly as we have a car off the top of turn number four. Unable to refire the car and that will bring the field under caution for the first time tonight. Cars have completed 16 laps so they are approaching the well they have reached the halfway point. Lucky prize tonight from the VA Auto Parts. Right now, Flagman Eddie Walsh has given the drivers the all clear. We have 16 laps down, and we're ready to restart this one at turn four. Kevin Buck on the pole has Tom Huff to his outside. They bring the field to turn four, and the green is out. Well, this tightened things up considerably for race leader Kevin Buck. He has Donnie Morse now at his back bumper as Morse has worked his way up into the second place position. John Maycomber has come to third. Tangle off the top of turn number three. Everyone appears to keep going, and the field stays green. Problems on the Ed Galan car. He has a tire down. Looks like the right front tire down. Donnie Morris now with a challenge for race leader Kevin Buck as he moves to the outside, but at that point, the caution flag will prevail once again as we have a car into the sand barrier at the entrance of the infield pit road. Beach Ridge Motor Speedway is a one-third mile oval around the inside groove of the speedway. If you are new to the speedway, happen to be wondering. Dirt track for many years, paved in 1986. Well, once again, it'll be Kevin Buck and Donnie Morse. Bringing the field to turn number four, they pick up the pace just a little bit. Flagman looks him over, and the green is out. Kevin Buck will show the way down into turn number one. Quickly, Alan Burby to his bu uh, back bumper, then Donnie Morse is going to take a shot to the outside. Morse with a challenge now from the outside, out of turn number four, side by side across the stripe. Possibly Morse by a bumper that time as they cross the start finish line. Side by side down the back stretch. Kevin Bach with a bumper ahead now, down into turn number three. 
top three uh, breaking away just a little bit. Buck gets it sideways out of turn number four. Does a nice job of hanging on to the number 25, but I'm sure he had the back out of it just a little bit. And the momentum goes over to the 75 of Donnie Morse. Morse putting the 75 way up in the second groove. Trying to take it over this time across the stripe. Nearly gets it by, gets the car sideways as they touch coming down into turn number one. And Donnie Morse is your new leader. They're working in lap number 22 of this 30 lap event. Top three once again. Donnie Morris in the 75, Kevin Buck in the 25, Alan Burby in the number 50. Then comes John Makeover in the number 96 in fourth. Jim Shaw is fifth in the number 16. Then it is Tom Huff and Chuck Willoughby, Dennis Featherson, and the number 70 of Jeff Morgan. And things are stacked right up, door handle the door handle right straight back through the rest of the pack. Once again, the high point men still hung up in traffic, have found it tough to break free tonight. Bumper to bumper, talk about racing and rush hour traffic. Three wide racing through turns one. They bring it to turn number three, a very, very difficult thing to do on this speedway. Somehow they manage it down the backstretch. Well, it is a three-car race at the front. But things are heated from position four on back. John Makeover. As Jim Shaw at the back bumper, it has Jeff Morgan on the outside. Morgan always a hard charger in the number 70. Couple of the repeat winners. Danny Bubar in the 24, Dennis Hall in the 94, trying desperately to break free of that tight pack of cars. Time running out. Starter Eddie Walsh indicates it will be just two laps to go next time by. Donnie Morse looking to add his name to the short list of repeat feature winners. We'll see just two laps to go. Or seems to stretch it out just a little bit more on the number 25 of Kevin Buck. They have put distance between themselves and third place competitor Alan Burby. Cars are in their last lap as the white flag is in the air. Jeff Morgan has broken free into position number four by himself, but obviously time has run out as the checkered flag will come down. Donnie Morse will collect his second feature event of 1993, followed by Kevin Buck, Alan Burby, Jeff Morgan, and John Makeover in your top five. Rather trouble-free limited sportsman main tonight. And here's your winner down to collect the colors. Driving the Gold Leaf Auto Sales, Ray's Auto Parts, number 75 out of Wyndham, Maine, Donnie Morse. Outstanding run tonight by the young man out of Gray, Maine in the number 25, that's Kevin Buck. And in third place, the number 50, and Alan Burby. Donnie Morse makes his parade lap. And then he'll be back at Victory Lane and you'll have an opportunity to see the young man behind the wheel of the, or out from behind the wheel of the number 75. Young man who was, well, a young man to me. Really a veteran here at uh, racing in this limited sportsman division. Back to return the colors to Flagman Eddie Walsh. And as he prepares to exit the number 75, we will go track side to Dave Sturgis. Dave? Congratulations, Donnie. Thank you very much. Oh, you found the outside groove around lap 15, took it to the finish, but you had Kevin Buck right on the outside. What was your thoughts on the race? Well, I didn't know if I'd get ahead of him or not, because Kyrie ain't going super good on the outside, but I got ahead of him just now, so I tucked in, but not quite enough for him. He, he got into me a little bit, but he backed off. Good night to win tonight, your second feature win for 1993. Uh, Al Webster from Big A Auto Parts is here with the first place presentation. Al? 
Congratulations, Dawn. Good race. You survived the restarts, and good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Morris, the center back upstairs to Dave Moody as we go for the full race of the American Canadian Tour. Dave? We're set to roll back onto the speedway. Semi feature. Next up, 15 laps. Races. We'll find out now who's got the setup for the Big A Auto Parts 150. Pace car set to come in in turn three. Field is set. Here they come. Down to five. The great time of reaching in the semi feature. Bobby Randall way high to the top of one. Takes the run down the back shoot. Randall in 91 with a nose up your leader. Bobby Randall riding the rail once again. Page in the 21 is third, fourth is Jim McCallum, fifth on the inside, Beaver Dragon in the 75. Position. 
position in the Big E Auto Parts 150. Three to go this time for LePage in the 21. Kevin LePage. Two to go for LePage. Danny Dahl in second. Hanley in third. Jeff McCallum. Gary Johnson. Tracy Gordon and Scott Moll turn to the inside of the 79. White flag set to fly. One to go now. No, down to the inside for the lead. Flag is set to fly. Here they come. Seven feature is going to go to Daniels in the six. Daddy Noel Jr. in the six steals it on the final lap. LePage in the 21 will settle for second. Hanley is third. Ladies and gentlemen, a terrific run in the semi feature. He'll start on the pole for the big end. 150, Danny Noel Jr. in the Lear's Body Shop, Jerry's Truck Service Chevrolet. Watch that automobile, 130 miles an hour backwards into the wall at the San Air Super Speedway one week ago tomorrow. Back and ready to go in the Concy round. Position now. Two laps to go. They shake it up. 
four. On the inside, the Chief, Ed Strong, in the number 10. And going forth on the outside, in the number 93 is Danny Palmer. Row five, Willie Elliott behind the wheel of the 08. And Daryl Ward in the number 80. In row six, Brian McClure in the number 25 and Dave Bath in the number five. The 14 is driven by Donnie Culprit. The 03, Steve Howard. Richard Baba Pelton in the number 27. Defending champion, Kevin Durgan in the number seven. The 90, the 51, Doug Shores. They get the green out of turn number four. Tim Wing and Jerome Bushy go side by side down into turn number one. The 142 is driven by Larry Vos. Young Tim Wing shows the way in the number 92. All kinds of pressure now from Mark Field on the inside. Jerome Bushy to the high side. Tim Wing in his sophomore year of competition. Well, the caution flag will fly as we have Dave Batts, number five, stalled at the top of turn number four. Tim Wing on the pole. Mark Field in the number 72 will bring the field to turn number four. Pace car makes its way onto the infield pit row. Out of turn four, the green is out. Dave Bath returns from pit road in the number five. Once again, it's Tim Wing showing the way in the number 92. Battle for second finds Mark Field on the outside with the advantage, but Jerome Bushy right back to challenge from the low side. Bushy will take it over from the low side. Quickly moves way high on the track out of turn number four. And with it, he loses some track position. Dave Sprague right up the inside of the number one takes over the runner-up position. He brings Lloyd Washburn to the number four. Uh, right with him up to position number three. Tim Maloney on the move now in the number 69 as he races to position number four. Once again, there is a handicap system with a high point then starting at the rear of the lineup. We have an opportunity. We'll run down the point standing in this very competitive limited sportsman division. Tim Wing continues to show the way. He is a sophomore driver out of Gorham, Maine in the number 92. As a veteran of racing here at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway, Dave Sprague in the number one, pressuring him now. Sprague first looks to the inside, now to the outside. Both of these drivers looking for their first feature event for 1993. Tim Maloney in the 69, two-time feature winner in this division. Top four have broken away just a bit now. Sprague continues to work inside, outside, trying to find a way to get up and challenge race leader Tim Wing. On the move on the outside now, the number 14 is Donnie Culprit. He works to the outside of the 72 of Mark Field. Now takes a look to the outside of the 93 of Danny Palmer. Donnie Culprit always fast and a hard judge of cars off the top of turn number four. Involved there, the number 80 of Daryl Ward, and I believe the 08 of Willie Elliott. Both cars back underway, and the field will stay green. Tame Wing gets it a little wide out of turn number four, and that's what Dave Sprague was looking for. Sprague moves beneath the 92. You have a new leader working in lap number 11, Dave Sprague in the number one. Tangle in turn number three. Tim Maloney into the side of the number 92. They tangle, take it off over the top of turn number three, and that will require the caution flag. Maloney back from that encounter. Tim Wink evidently unable to refire the car as he sits just off the top of turns three and four. Extend. As the driver's stage on the backstretch, flagman Eddie Walsh gives the drivers the all clear once again. 
Pace car will make its way onto the infield pit road. We look for a start at turn number four. We have it. Dave Sprague once again assumes the point. He will have a strong challenge now from the number 14 and Donnie Copert in third place. Lloyd Washburn in the number four. Then comes Brian McClure in fourth. And Danny Palmer in the number 93 is fifth. Challenge at the front now as Donnie Copert has moved to the outside of the number one. They come out of turn number four side by side, side by side across the stripe. Donnie Copert on the move on the outside. We'll take it over down into turn number three. Dave Sprague right back, not wanting to let go the grip of position number one. But as they cross the stripe, new leader, Donnie Copert in the number 14. They are approaching the halfway point, indicates start at Eddie Walsh. It will be 15 down and 15 to go. We have a spin off the top of turn number four. That will require the caution flag once again at the halfway point. Cars back underway and the cars involved in the 72 of Mark Field, the 51 of Doug Shores. Not sure whether there was another car involved, evidently a flat tire, I would guess on the left rear of the number 51. This time all clear from atop the flag stand as the drivers glance back one more time. Flagman Eddie Walsh indicates we are ready to go. Donnie Culprit and Dave Spray bring the field to turn four. We look for green. We have it. Donnie Culprit shows the way down into turn number one. With the advantage over Sprague in the number one, Lloyd Washburn looking for room to the inside of the number one as he looks to challenge for that runner-up position. Brian McClure and Richard Pelton looking for racing room as they go at it door handle to door handle, battling for position number four. And Steve Howard getting into that top group now in the 03. Cars sideways. The number one is sideways out of turn number four. Drivers do a nice job of getting hard into the brakes. And the number one gets straightened out. And amazingly, the field stays green. So great bit of driving by several of the competitors there as they had to get hard into the brakes out of turn number four. Allow the number one to get straightened out again. What could have been disaster for Dave Sprague is not as bad as it could have been. He is off the pace, evidently some damage to the front end of the number one. Donnie Cooper now by himself at the front. Battle for second, Lloyd Washburn in the number four, Richard Pelton in the 27. They go at it side by side. Then comes Steve Howard in the 03, Brian McClure in the 25, and Kevin Durgan in the number seven. Well, as those drivers battle for that second place position, that simply allows Donnie Culprit to drive away. And he is doing just that in the number 14. Young man is actually a spin in turn number four. Cars get together once again, and once again involved there, the 72 of Mark Field and the number 51 of Doug Shores as they come together again. And once again, the field rolls under caution. Well, with 20 laps down, Flagman Eddie Walsh is giving the drivers the all clear as they work on the backstretch. And we are ready to get it back to green flag racing if everything is to the start of satisfaction at turn four. They bring it to turn four and the green is out. Once again, Donnie Colbert in the number 14 will show the way. This time Richard Pelton from the outside takes over position number two. And the battle is for the third place position now. Lloyd Washburn on the low side, Steve Howard to his outside. Howard with the advantage from the high side. And now the battle shaping up for fifth between Brian McClure and Kevin Durgan. A 
Kapoor in the 25, Durgan in the number seven. They go at it side by side. Kevin Durgan now trying to set up to the outside of the number four of Lloyd Washburn. Durgan up to draw it even down into turn number three. They bring it to turn number four side by side. Battle is for fourth. Kevin Durgan on the outside puts a bumper ahead down into turn number three. Washburn brings it right back up the inside to take it over out of turn number four. Side by side down into turn number one. Lloyd Washburn on the inside. Kevin Durgan to the outside as they continue to battle wheel to wheel. Meanwhile, the top three go bumper to bumper. One, two, three. Donnie Culprit, Richard Pelton, and Steve Howard. They have plenty of breathing space. Fourth place battle continues. Washburn on the inside. Kevin Durgan to the outside. Laps winding down. Starta indicates it will be just two laps to go. Kevin Durgan takes it out and around the number four to take over position number four. Two to go. Cars tangle in turn number four. Upside down over the top of turn number four. And that will put the field under a red flag condition. We have radio communication with the safety men. Please stay in your seats, ladies and gentlemen. We'll give you a report on the driver just as quick as we have it. Medical team to the car. He is out of the car and has indicated to the safety man he is all right. 28 down, two to go. Lights are out atop the official pace car. The Chevy Lumina from Forest City Chevrolet will make its way onto the infield pit road. Donnie Culper and Richard Pelton will bring the field to turn four, and they have a sprint to the finish as the green is out. Donnie Culper quickly pulls away down into turn number one, but here comes Pelton with a challenge once again. Steve Howard looking for room down low. They go at it side by side. Pelton now takes a look to the outside of the number 14. White flag is out, one lap to go. Richard Pelton trying to find a way to get up and beside the number 14 thus far has been unable to do it. Has his hands full now with a 0-3 of Steve Howard. Out of turn number four, check it, flag is in the air. Donnie Culpert, Steve Howard, Richard Pelton, Kevin Durgan, and it was pretty hard to tell between the number four of Lloyd Washburn and the 25 of Brian McClure. We'll have to wait for the, in fourth, it was Kevin Durgan, in third, Richard Pelton in second, Steve Howard, and taking it tonight for the third time in 1993, making his parade lap, Donnie Culprit in the number 14. He'll be back. Returns the colors now to flagman Eddie Walsh. And another strong run. This young man led the point standing, not very common for a rookie, but he did it here much of the early part of 1993. Good morning, Donnie. Thank you. Third win for 1993, could have come to a better time. You're third in points, trying to catch up to the uh, Richard Pelton. He was right behind you, and you came in first place. Yeah, uh, started to get loose. I figured he'd drive around me, but, you know, going in and coming off the corner was pretty loose. I, I didn't think it was going to get over with all the flags, but. It's while well, you're here in Victory Lane, you picked up your first place trophy, brought to you by the Big A Auto Parts people, and Joel Sawyer is here with your first place presentation. Joel? Congratulations, Donnie, on behalf of the employees of Big A Auto Parts, our fellow dealers. We'd like to congratulate you and wish you well in the coming year. Not, also, not only did you pick up your first place trophy, you also got a $50 gift contingency from the guys at Big A Auto Parts for your first place presentation. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. I'd like to say special thanks to all my sponsors. You know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even, wouldn't even be here now. Uh, just the people have been staying behind me for the whole year, bad and good. Uh, A.J. Kennedy's, he's here tonight for the first time, so he'll probably be pretty happy for that. Uh, Libby Sales, Pleasant Hill Auto Sales, The Doctors, uh, 
Hydraulics, Cabo Hydraulics, Rex Garrett, all them, and a girlfriend. She's there all the time. And my friend Kevin Delinas. Oh, congratulations. Grabbing the checkered flag for the third time in 1993, Donnie Corporate. Okay, at this time, could we have all scorers for the BA Auto Parts 150 please report to the scoring area? Man of the night, the BA Auto Parts 150 gentlemen, start your engines! Don Forte is in. 
This will not be subtle as they'll just pull the fiberglass away, put some duct tape on to keep it where it belongs and send the car back out. Ricky Harrison back in in the Portsmouth Sheraton car. Field crossing over, they'll take one. Chris Rule coming in in the 14. Tommy Rowe in the 31 also on pit road. The Portsmouth Sheraton team about finished with their service on the 85 of Ricky Harrison. The Don Forte crew trying to find something to tape something to down there. Forte rolling, Ricky Harrison, Tommy Rowe. Chris Rule now pulls away from pit road, so everybody will make it back. Junior Hanley and Gary Johnson, Jim McCallum and Scott Mulkern as we set for the restart. Pace car coming in. Here they come, down to the line. Green is out. LaPage on the inside leads him away. Junior Hanley down low for second now. Hanley down the back straightaway, takes over the number two spot. Danny Knoll trapped up high in the six. Spot gets a bump from Gary Johnson. Hanley for the lead, heading for three. Junior Hanley looking to the inside of LePage. Can't get it done this time. 21 LePage, 72 Hanley. Danny Noel and Gary Johnson. Jim McKellen and Scott Ball Kerr. Seventh is Tracy Gordon in the 17. Eighth is Billy Penfold. Dave Whitlock, ninth. Tenth on the inside is Ralph Mason. Dale Shaw, Mike Johnson beginning to roll. We've got a yellow on the speedway. Caution on the field. We've got a car off course on the inside of turn two. Pace car set to come in this time. 18 complete as we look for the restart. Here they come, in four, looking for the green flag. They've got it. LePage on the inside, leads the away down the back shoot. Junior Hanley pulling up on the high lane. Danny Knoll in third, Jim McCallum to the inside of Gary Johnson. Hanley back down low. What a move by Junior Hanley, but he can't make it stick in one. Hanley from the top to the bottom in turn four. Go. Leland LePage again has to back out of it. Kevin LePage with a rear view mirror full of Junior Hanley in the 72. Danny Knoll now getting into the battle. Looks underneath Hanley, can't make it stick. Here's Hanley to the inside. Lap car, Chris Rule dead ahead. Ducks out of the way. Hanley takes the lead in four. 22 laps on the board. Junior Hanley is your leader. LePage is second. Danny Knoll in third. Fourth is Jim McCallum. Tracy Gordon in the 17 is fifth. McCallum to the inside for the number three spot. Jim McCallum working the low line on Danny Knoll as they hit the back straightaway. Knoll in the six. McCallum in the two. Going at it. Danny Knoll pushing high. McCallum underneath it one more time. Danny Knoll Jr., the pole center, beginning to fight the push now as they race the back shoot. McCallum down low, takes over the number three spot. Right behind him, Tracy Gordon, Gary Johnson, Bill Penfold, and Ralph Nason. Danny Knoll Jr., hung out to dry in the high lane and going backwards now. Knoll all the way back to seventh as Penfold moves underneath him. Ralph Nason looking to fill the hole on the inside. Dives down through the speed bumps and picks it up. Danny Knoll Jr. going backwards in a hurry now in car number six. Knoll finally gets it back in line. Jim Preble off course again in turn number two trying to refire it. Preble has the car rolling, will stay green. the start finish line about to put a lap on the Bob Coburn automobile. LePage is second being attacked now by Jim McCallum. McCallum in the two beginning to roll early as he looks down to the inside for second. McCallum sideways out of four. Jim McCallum going low on LePage. Lap car blocks the way he has to back out of it. 
Finally, LePage and McCallum, the top three. LePage again pushing high off turn four. Fourth spot now belongs to Tracy Gordon in the 17. Fifth is Gary Johnson. Bill Penfold up to sixth. Ralph Nason is seventh. Danny Knoll is eighth. Ninth today, Whitlock Dale Shaw, tenth. And eleventh. Mike Johnson, twelfth to Jeff Taylor. Thirteenth place now, Bobby Randall, followed by Scott Mulkern and Derek Lynch, the top 15 automobiles. Front three, trying to break away from the pack. 72, Junior Hadley. 21, Kevin LePage, Jim McCallum in the two. Tracy Gordon, five car lanes back, trying to hold on to the lead draft. McCallum again to the inside of LePage for second, but again, LePage drives away on the back shoot. McCallum with the edge in handling, LePage with the horsepower advantage. The battle is for second now. Kevin LePage again drifting high off the corners, opens the door for Jimmy McCallum. McCallum on the inside of turn four, picks up second by a nose. Jim McCallum now the second place automobile. LePage back to third now. Fourth is Tracy Gordon. Gary Johnson in fifth. Sixth is Penfold. Seventh to Ralph Nason. Danny Knoll in eighth. Dave Whitlock ninth. Dale Shaw tenth. And on the outside, here comes Mike Johnson moving in the 33. Mike Johnson from 23rd spot on the field breaks into the top 10 and he is rolling on the outside. Jim McCallum beginning to reel in Junior Hanley in traffic. Mike Johnson going to the outside of Dale Shaw. That is the battle for 10th place. Johnson from 23rd looking for 10th on the outside. Junior Hanley puts a lap on the Ricky Harrison car in the front straightaway. Right behind him now is McCallum in the two. Jim McCallum on the back bumper. Kevin LePage, a car length back in third. Tracy Gordon, Gary Johnson, and Bill Pimple. Top six down the front chute. Dale Shaw trapped behind the slower car of John Bozak, dropping back in turn two. Dave Whitlock moves around. Mike Johnson moves around. Bobby Randall next in line. Shaw now trapped behind the slower cars out of turn four. Shaw, the number two man of the main state standings, going backwards now, takes it free deep with Jeff Taylor in a turn three. Shaw fights his way out of the box. Taylor wraps him on the back bumper. Junior Hanley and Jim McCallum, one and two at the front. Tracy Gordon now going to the inside of Kevin LePage. LePage fading badly now as that car continues to push to the top of the racetrack. Tracy Gordon in the Chevrolet goes low on LePage for the number three spot. Gordon down low. Tracy Gordon pulls even as they hit the back straightaway. Lap car dead ahead, Jim Preble. LePage trying to hold on and use the lap car as the blocker. Out of turn four, here they come. Tracy Gordon on the inside now needs to find his way out of the box. LePage trying to hang on to the back straightaway. Jim Preble in the 83. The lap car is going to save the spot for Kevin LePage. LePage holds on to third. Trouble on the back shoot. Dave Whitlock is around. Whitlock in the 92. Backs it down to the inside, and we've got a yellow. Caution flag flies for Davey Whitlock. Dave Whitlock re-fires the Motorcraft Ford. We got two cars in the wall on the back shoot. Mike Mayenna and Bobby Babb tangle. Mayenna and Babb try to avoid the Dave Whitlock car, get into the wall on the back straightaway. Brad Layton is in the pits. 
Paul Johnson in the 05 coming in. Late in the 1X who has battled that car since the early practice rounds now will make his pit call for right side tires and fuel. Mike Mann is car number 13 going up on the wrecker on the back straightaway. Looks like it'll be the end of the night for Mayotte, the former champion. Rear end of the Brad Layton car up. Not sure if they were looking for a problem there or just changing tires, but Layton is down and ready to rejoin. Pace car pulling away in turn three, we're set. Haley on the inside. McCallum on the outside. LePage and Gordon Fuggery. Hanley pulls away on the inside. Kevin LePage down low, walks second back. Jim McCallum now hung up out high. Goes backwards to the number three spot. LePage back to second. McCallum now third. Tracy Gordon on the inside looks to pick it up. McCallum shuts the door down the back shoot and holds on to the number three position. Gordon down to the inside. Gary Johnson, fifth on the outside. Billy Penfold beginning to roll. Penfold in the zero. Takes a look on the outside for the number five spot. Gary Johnson down low, trying to hold him off. Can't do it. Penfold beginning to roll in the high line. Right behind him, Mike Johnson in the 33. Penfold and Johnson tag team it around the outside. Penfold to the five spot. Mike Johnson right behind him. Out of the back of the pack. Tracy Gordon down low on McCallum for third place. Action all over the speedway. Jim McCallum in third trying to hold off Gordon. Fifth spot, Gary Johnson and Penfold nose to nose. Ralph Nason and Mike Johnson side by side right behind him. Penfold now beginning to fade in the outside lane. Billy Penfold beginning to lose the fight on the outside. Gary Johnson moves under him. Takes the fifth spot back. Ralph Nation in the 10 up to six. Right behind him, Bobby Randall. Now the inside lane gets the bike.
Bob Bellinu, Derek Lynch, Kip Stockwell among the contenders running in the top 20 on pit road right now. Junior Hanley in the 72 is your leader. LePage is back up to second. Jim McCallum now will get a chance to follow Hanley through the low line and get the runner-up spot back from LePage. The best battle of the night so far has been for third. McCallum trying to hold off the advances of young Tracy Gordon. Gordon appears to have the better handling race car, but has not been able to muscle himself a hole on the inside of McCallum. Landrush coming off pit road now. They'll fall in at the back of the pack and will be set. Car set to come in. Hanley and LePage lead them down to the line. Green flag is out. Hanley down to back shoot has the lead one more time. LePage is second. McCallum third. Side by side. Gary Johnson to the inside. Tracy Gordon now trapped high in the 17 car. Gary Johnson fights underneath him to fourth. Johnson on the move, right behind him. Bobby Randall, Bill Penfold in the zero. Billy Penfold, who moments ago went to the back after being trapped up high, now coming right up through on the inside. Hanley and LePage breaking away from the pack. McCallum, Gary Johnson, and Bobby Randall, Bill Penfold, and Scott Ball Kern. Ball Kern on the inside of Tracy Gordon moving up now. Scott Ball Kern looking for seventh place on the inside. Tracy Gordon hung out to dry and going backwards. Ralph Nason and Mike Johnson caught up behind him are helpless on the outside right now. The outside line is nowhere to be. Gordon all the way back. Tracy Gordon from fourth place about to drop out of the top ten now. Ralph Nason moves underneath him for ninth. Right behind is Dale Shaw in the 23. Tracy Gordon needs a break in traffic. He can't find it down the back straight away. Pulling away by himself again in the 72. Look out, trouble on the back shoot. Glenn Loose takes it around. Loose right in the middle of the back stretch. Here they come. Look out, Irene. Mike Wheaton gets tagged. Wheaton into the infield. Everybody plays dodgeball in the back shoot. And with the exception of Mike Wheaton, everybody makes it through. Glenn Loose looping it. Sits right in the middle of the back straight. Pace car coming in, we're set. Once again, Hanley and LePage. McCallum now with Gary Johnson. Bobby Randall, Billy Penfold, here they come, the green is out. Once again, Hanley and LePage able to pull away down the back shoot. Hanley leads it, LePage second. McCallum on the inside, trying to hold off Gary Johnson. Johnson dropping back now. Oh, Bobby Randall goes around. Randall in the 91, keeps it pointed. Field stays green, Bobby Randall all the way to the back of the pack. On Glenn Luce this time. LePage second, McCallum third, Gary Johnson and Bill Penfold. Sixth is Scott Volker. Ralph Nason is seventh. Eighth, the 23 of Dale Shaw. Mike Johnson is ninth. Tenth is Tracy Gordon. Eleventh to Mike Vanna Jr. Pete Rondo is 12th. Bill Zardo, 13th. Bob Libby, 14th. Fifteenth, the one X of Bradley. Jeff Taylor beginning to show smoke on the 88 car. Taylor may be in trouble on the back shoot. Taylor smoking back. Through the corners. Right front fender rubbing on the tire of Jeff Taylor as they race the
some action. Taylor got involved in some bump and grind in the pack, and he's got a tire rubbing on the right front corner through the turn. Hits the line in the lead. LePage second. McCallum third. Gary Johnson and Billy Penfold. side rubber. The distance racing Chevrolet. Jeff Taylor pitting out of the top 10 now. And again, that caution period, like Christmas in August for Jeff Taylor, as he'll remain on the lead lap. Mike Wheaton in for tires on the 35 car. Ricky Harrison, Derek Lynch back in again. John Lazat, who's been in a number of times tonight. Bobby Randall down and away in the 91. Distance 
second. Third is Billy Penfold. Fourth, to Ralph Nason. Mike Johnson down low. McCallum sideways. They bang in turn four. Johnson gets away with it. Johnson up to six. Scott Paul Kern on the inside for seven. Paul Kern in the 79 having a great race of it tonight. Mike Mayetta Jr. and Dale Shaw battling right behind them. Mayetta, four-time main event winner this year at Beach Ridge, trying to move to the inside of Dale Shaw. Billy Petfold beginning to close in on Kevin LePage. Sean to the outside of Jim McCallum down the back shoot. Junior Hadley across the line, puts 126 on the board. Battle shaping up for second. Kevin LePage beginning to drift wide again in the 21. Billy Penfold closing in in the zero. Penfold sticks the nose underneath him in turn four. Billy Penfold challenging for second on the inside. What a run by Bill Penfold as he pulls wheel to wheel with LePage on the back shoot. Billy Penfold down. Page and Bill Penfold side by side, nose to nose in a turn four. Penfold picks it up. Junior Hanley in heavy lap traffic out of turn four. Moves around Tommy Rowe. Lap cars two abreast. They're holding Hanley up as Penfold tries to move in. Page back to third. Ralph Nason fourth and closing. Fifth is Gary Johnson and on the outside, Mike Johnson in the 33 moving up. Mike Johnson on the comeback trail in the 33 machine. The main state point leader, Johnson in the top 10 and closing ground. Junior Hanley trying to work the lap cars. Bobby Coburn takes it wide in the 54. Coburn ignoring the passing flag. Junior Hanley now may have a race on his hands. Penfold just two car lengths back in the lead now. Billy Penfold is close to within two car lengths as Hanley works around the Bob Coburn machine on the back shoot. Penfold is second. LePage third with a rear view mirror full of Ralph Nason. Nason putting the pressure on in the 10. Fifth is Gary Johnson. Mike Johnson is sixth. Seventh is Dale Shaw. Scott Mulkern is eighth. Ninth to Jim McCallum. Tenth is Mike Mayetta Jr. Mike Wheat may have blown up the 35 as he takes it on the pit road. Wheat goes right behind the wall. Billy Penfold is closing in on Junior Hanley. Troubling turn two, Larry Gelinas around. Larry Gelinas in the 37 brings out the yellow. As they hit the line for the green, it will be 10 laps to go. Showtime for Billy Penfold. Take one is out. second consecutive main state championship victory, but he's going to have to unseat the master on this one. Hanley and Penfold. LePage and Nason. Here they come. Green flag. Hanley drive. Oh, trouble. McCallum gets nailed by Brad Layton. Cars all over the track. Tracy Gordon's in it. Scott Mulkern. Pete Rondo. Kip Stockwell. Jim McCallum takes a hard hit from the 1X of 
Brad Layton in turn one. the number 72 in the victory lane. Outstanding run once again in his zero from Yarmouth, Maine. Billy Penfold in the runner-up position. We'll be going trackside momentarily to hear from the top three. Once again, if you'd like to stay around for a bit, you will have the opportunity to get out on the track in a little bit. Trackside now to Dave Moody. Dave. Oh, 
All right, thank you, Bruce. What a great run tonight. Junior Henley climbing out of the Molson X machine, his 11th victory in 1993. Three tired race car drivers climbing out after a wild one here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for the number three man tonight, Racer Ralph Nation in the Chevrolet. First of all, Ralph, congratulations on surviving this one, then third place, not too bad of a night. Yeah, we uh, definitely uh, just kind of tried to stay in there all evening. About 30, 35 laps, the right rear started giving me troubles, and uh, you know, we had a one tire went high already on us tonight, and I figured that's probably what happened. Still then, the guy was really great. Uh, the boys did a great job, and uh, you know, we were just, you know, biding our time and hope we had something at the end, and hey, that's yeah, pretty good, third damn good. This one did you double good tonight. Good in the GM Tour point standings and good in the main state standings. And after what happened to you here last time, you could use a good one in the main state. Yeah, after that bounce off of turn three, turn two wall, definitely that was a high one. The third place trophy from Big A Auto Parts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for a great run tonight. Racing Ralph Nason, Connor 10 gets third. Second place man tonight, and he looks like he's been run through the washing machine when this one's over. Great run tonight. How about it for Billy Penfold, ladies and gentlemen? Billy, congratulations. Oh, well, last time out here in the main state, you came home number one, but second to this guy over here. A lot of people like to have that. Yeah, he's a real fast guy. I was hoping that we wouldn't have any yellows because I knew what was going to happen with my tires. And he was a little pushing coming out, and I said, yeah, if I can get to him, I got a, I got a shot. I, the act tour, these guys are fantastic. Tom Curley runs a super show, Beatridge. You can't say enough about it. It's a great race. I'm glad to finish it. This is one of the big ones of your career, I've got to believe. Yeah, this is the first act race I've finished in the top three ever. And I got to thank Racecom, VIP charter coaches, my dad who let me drive this car, Max here who sets it up, who brought his street stock crew to help me today. My wife who scores, and I just can't thank everybody enough. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, he earned this one tonight. Second place trophy for Big A Auto Parts. How about it for Billy Penfold in the zero? You're number two man tonight. Well, he's got the laurel on. He's got the champagne in his hands. And the number one trophy, Junior Hanley in the Molson X72. Junior, congratulations. Everybody in the house had a shot at you tonight, but that inside lane was the place to be on the restart. I just was uh, real lucky on the uh, restarts, and a couple of times a few slow guys got messed up there, and I just missed them, and uh, the car was working really good, and uh, just lucky to win. The lap cars uh, helped you up there for a little while, but you had not the lead that you could relax and let them sort it out. Yeah, like, uh, those guys are running for a position, so you really can't, you know, like, those guys are racing too, so I just backed off, they got some room, and uh, I got back by them. Well, the tour now takes a week off, and then on the key to a place that's been pretty good to you over here. Well, I raced a lot there, but I hardly ever, I've maybe won like three races there in my whole, uh, like big races. I run a lot of 30 lappers, but like uh, the big races, we always fall out of it, so maybe we can have better luck this time. First place trophy tonight for Big A Auto Parts is 11th win of 1993. Junior Hanley, the Wilson X, Quaker State, Ford, your Big A Auto Parts 150 champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that rounds out our program for the evening, and we're certainly glad that you decided to spend it with us here at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway. Now, on behalf of the Cusack family, the staff here at the Beach Ridge Motor Speedway, the folks from the Big A Auto Parts stores, we'd like to thank all of you for being with us for the Big A Auto Parts 150. Hope to see you back next Saturday night as we present short track racing at its very best. And for now, good evening.